Welcome to Price Ball, this is Mike, and today we're doing a flavor review. Two new flavors of the extra cool, extra refreshing, extra fruity, my protein clear whey isolate. So this is a pure whey protein isolate that is using such a highly refined hydrolyzed whey protein isolate that, <laughs> that it actually uh, it, it settles clear more translucently and uh, and the, the one caveat is that you need to, to give it a little bit of time to settle. So the two new flavors, this is August of 2020, are peach mango and wild cherry. And I am the cherry fan on this channel, still kind of buzzing and tingling from the uh, My Protein uh, The Pre-Workout. I filmed that video yesterday and I've been kind of drinking it nonstop ever since. So loving my cherry flavors. While we uh, are talking about this, let's get this going. I have to disclaim, these products were sent for free from my protein. They, uh, my protein US, they uh, magically appeared in my mail and I was not unhappy about that. Uh, but we're just doing a flavor review here. And then finally, we do have an affiliate business relationship with my protein. Plow 40 is the coupon code for 40% off. Sometimes they do even better deals, but this is the cherry one. I smell mild cherry there. Mostly it just smells like Almost like amino acid powder or something, just pretty, pretty standard. And then here's the peach. Let's toss these down here. Not on my foot. And then the peach mango. That smells good. Okay. While I am, I forgot to turn the lights on in this room. Lighting okay? Oh well. So while uh, while we are going to shake these up, so they say mix it from. 10 to 12 ounces of water per scoop here. If you can find the scoop, there it is, not too far down. Very, very, you can see like very thin, fine powder. Very refined, and that's part of the process with this highly refined whey protein uh, isolate, hydrolyzed whey protein isolate. So I have 10 ounces of water, and then I threw in two ice cubes into each one. That's So this lid will have the black cherry. I'll kind of hold one up and watch it. And I always forget, you gotta use a bigger shaker because the foam, is, it's a lot of foam is what happens with these. And it takes time. So this is gonna, this is gonna um, settle clear. It says wait 15 seconds for the foam to settle with a small shaker cup like this. Might need a little bit more. Uh, there is no coloring in this, artificial flavoring. There's no coloring in this one. And likely not the other one. Let me get the other one going. Keep the hands. Yeah, such, it's almost like, it's like flour almost, like this this powder is really interesting. So mini backstory. The first time we had this, Ben and I in um, like December of 2019, we did a, a review and we actually did a comparison side by side against Dimatize's clear protein. Now my protein won that round and they, it's because they're mainly because Dimatize's were good, but they were using Stevia and that just doesn't work as well with, you can see, okay, my first one's settling. This is where it starts. So. It's gonna take a little bit of time for these to go down. So this is the wild cherry one. And so this is a type of protein, I don't know, sucralose tastes good, it's a good sweetener. It's artificial, yes, but with this type of protein, it definitely tasted good, but Dimatize had a really good peach mango flavor system, and we were like, ooh, that'd be really good if it had the sucralose sweetening. So my protein kept coming out with new flavors. Strawberry was uh, was one of my favorites, and then dragon fruit. Actually, strawberry is my favorite as of right now, but we're gonna see if wild cherry or peach mango can beat it. But that peach mango system from Dimatize worked really well. I think my protein watched our video, and they're like, we gotta do that too. But it's always like the red colors that are really good. So here's what's happening here. I don't know what you can see on the camera. And maybe I could like pop my light up into this. Let's see what happens there. There's a little light down here. That's not helping, is it? No. Right, how about that? So, so as it settles, the foam goes down on the top, but then we're also getting more clearness here. So the, the, the reason that this is cool is because it's hot, it's, it's, it's so hot outside right now. This is good if you get a nice cold, it's refreshing. And so not everyone wants a chocolate milkshake after their, after their workout. They want, a, uh, they want a, a, like a more juicy type drink, but it's never a bad idea, never, unless you have like maybe serious kidney disease, and even then I still kind of question it. Never a bad idea to get a high protein a diet in. So anytime you can switch from like, you can replace carbohydrates like juice or something into protein like this, then it's a great idea. So anyway, 
Flavor review finally up. Maybe we should do like a quick, and I, I didn't shake this hard enough. I think you might even need a bigger shaker cup than these little guys, because I have some stuff on the wall. The foam foams up a little bit, so you do have like, need more room for that almost. Wild cherry, here we go. And this one actually worked out really well. That is a better shake. Oh. That's almost the fla same flavor system as it had in that pre-workout, minus the vanilla. They should all add a little bit of that vanilla in there because I love that pre-workout system. This is incredible. Now with these, with these clear isolates, you do get a bit of a drying sensation. And then my saliva kind of overwhelms it back over. But there's, there's a second of like dryness in there. That's gonna be tough. I'm a cherry guy. I am always a fan of cherry flavors. Strawberry was really good. Dragon fruit was really interesting. For my taste buds, this one's better. This is so far the best one. But if you're not into, into, into cherry, I think strawberry is probably the one that most people would like best. But let's see what happens here. Peach mango. Mmm. Peach nectar. Whoa! It's almost. You can you can use more water here. That is a strong, real deal peach flavor. I almost I don't even know if there's mango in here. I would water this down more. Really good flavor. Peach. Maybe there's a touch of mango on the back end. I, I don't even know. It's, it's just dominated by peach. It should be like peach with just a little bit of mango. And so here's the macros here. This is where it's crazy. 80 calories in one scoop. A scoop is 24 grams. 20 grams of protein, zero fat, Zero carbs. So there might be like less than half a gram of fat or less than, you know, it's not gonna be 0, 0.0. It's a little bit less than a half a gram of zero of carbs and fats. So I think there's like five, like a smidge, five milligrams or so of cholesterol or something. You're, so there's a smidge of, of the, you know, dairy-based animal fats. This is a dairy-based product, even though it doesn't look like one, it is. So it's basically 80 calories of straight protein. That's how highly refined this hydrolyzed clear protein is. And that's why it makes for such an interesting shake. It's no longer a pro, it's a no, no longer a milkshake though. It's more of a, a half juice, half protein shake. I'll be honest, this peach is a good system. Maybe we gotta add more water. I could run off and get some more water. It's too strong. And I, I usually don't say that because I love that flavor. Mm. Everything about the wild cherry though, the smell, right into the drink, it's a, it is a better consistency. Man, my protein's got two smashing cherry flavors here. I'm impressed. So right now, this is my number one flavor from the way, the clear way isolates. I think after that comes strawberry, then, uh, it's tough to say, probably dragon fruit and then the peach mango. This isn't a bad flavor. You know, all right, camera focus. All right, I added more water. Let's see what happens though. Oh. I think that's how you do it. 10 to 12 ounces of water, not enough. Add more water to the peach, and now we're talking more of a juice. I would add more ice as well. Just ice it up, just whatever. Maybe it'd probably make the foam go down a little quicker too. Okay, I gotta, I'll be right back. I gotta add more water to the cherry one. All right, I already drank, so I don't know how much the equivalent water this is, but. Son of a gun. It took me about four videos to figure this out. And countless shakes because I typically underdose the water with shakes and just crush them. You need more water with this. 10 to 12 ounces of water, uh-uh. 16 to 18, maybe even 20 ounces of water per scoop. And then I think you're gonna get more of what they are selling here. So finally we figured it out. Thanks for your patience with that price pollination. So long story short, we might need to front load this clip here. We have two new flavors of my proteins, Clear Weight Isolate, which has only 80 calories, 20 grams of protein, and very, very zero grams of fat, zero grams of carbs, very smidge, less than a half a gram of that. And these two new flavors are downright fantastic. Wild Cherry is my favorite. Peach Mango is super strong, all peach. But here's what I learned in this video. You need to add more water than the 10 to 12 ounces. You need to go, I think, 16 to 20 ounces. And then you have a drink that not only settles clear, but is more like a juice-based 
protein and definitely not a milkshake. And that's what's cool about these clear whey isolates, which comes from hydrolyzed whey protein isolates, so highly refined that it settles clear. But use more water. This is Mike with Pricewell. Check out pricewell.com slash myprotein. Use coupon code PLOW40. Yes, that is an affiliate coupon. Appreciate you watching. And thanks for watching me stumble through four of these videos before I finally figured out the secret to the clear whey isolates. And it's simply more cold water. Welcome to Price Plow.